Coach, start of a new year, essentially. Two new coordinators now with the Chargers, starting with Kellen Moore. What was the process like of bringing him into the fold? Yeah, well, I think the process started my first game as a defensive coordinator, uh, <laughs> which was against Kellen and the Cowboys when I was with the Rams. So uh, I've just been such a fan of him, you know, for a long time. Followed his career at Boise, and just I was a former quarterback. So just always kept in touch with quarterbacks, just following him, and had a heck of a playing career in college and in the NFL. And I think I was so impressed when, when he got right into coaching in Dallas, like he was a quarterback coach and then became a coordinator the next year. And then just having to face him and see what his offenses uh, have done since he's been in the league, just so impressed. A really, I think, deep appreciation when we practiced against them this year. Um, I just think, you know, the person, the competitor, the leader, uh, it's all what we were looking for, and I'm really excited to team up with him. Yeah, when you mention him being a former quarterback, you being a former quarterback, what's it going to be like kind of teaming up together now to sort of mold that offense? Yeah, I think I think we're going to bring out the best in each other. I think as much, hopefully I can help Kellen as hopefully he can help me on defense too. And I think that that's how he sees the game. Um, you know, son of a coach, we're both sons of coaches. And uh, I think that background and I think how we see the game and how it should be played is just very similar. And I love the way that he coaches the quarterback. I love the way he thinks about offensive football. Uh, and I can't wait to connect. I think this first month together, uh, just really excited uh, to keep going with him. When you talk about the way that you both see the game, what is that? Yeah, I just I think in terms of how you coach players, um, how you attack, you know, a certain defense or a certain play caller, you know, how you mold an offense around your players. Uh, I think all of that, I think philosophically is very aligned. Uh, and I think he's just got a really natural way of, of coaching that makes it easy on players where they can go play fast and free. And I think that's the sign of a good coach. Uh, I think there's a lot that's made of the complexity of the game, but I think the best coaches are, are the ones who keep it simple. And I was very impressed in, in the interview process of just how simple he can make it for the for the quarterback, for our players, giving us a play style that I believe in. Um, and I think he's going to be fantastic for us. So moving to defense, Derek Ansley gets elevated to DC. Yeah. What went into that decision? Yeah, DA, DA's um, he's DA a superstar. DC. Yeah, <laughs> DA the DC. Um, he's definitely earned this opportunity. Uh, and, you know, I've known DA for a long time. I think he's one of the top coaches I've ever coached with. Um, and on defense, you know, I've, I've learned as much from him as anybody. Uh, and I think he's just got such a bright future. He's definitely earned this opportunity. Um, I know that we're all really excited for him. And, you know, again, he was one of the most highly sought after coaches the last couple of years. And, um, you know, for, for us to be able to continue to team up uh, to elevate him to this role, um, I know he's going to, you know, bring our defense to an even different level. He was a position coach, now becomes a coordinator. You've been in that role. What is that transition like? Yeah, I think it's just you're being more of the same. I think now he's just able to impact more places, uh, which is which is a really unique challenge. He's been a coordinator before at the University of Tennessee, um, and you know his track record speaks for itself. You know, I think just working for Nick Saban and the people that he's been able to work with in college and in the pro game, what we've been able to accomplish together. Uh, he's got an, a fantastic background, and what I'm excited is for more of our defense to see his background um, because. He's got a great way about him, a ton of knowledge, and um, he's going to really bring out the best in our group. You're still going to call plays. Yes. What will that collaboration between the two of you? Yeah, be? I think that's another big part of it too. Is I think that you know we we've known each other for such a long time. Um, I think that the foundation and how we play, um, we both believe in it very deeply. Um, but I know that he can help complement um, some of the things that um, that we do, make it even better, uh, bring that different vantage point um, that you need as a coach. You know, and I think that the one thing that um, that we have is that that transparency, that honesty with each other. Um, and again, the way he sees the secondary, I think is as good as anybody I've ever been around. Um, and I just can't wait to team up together. So here we are in Indy. You've been here, you told me, since Sunday night. What's yeah. your favorite part of the combine? Oh, Haley. Um, <laughs> well, I love meeting players for the first time. Uh -huh. What you're going to gain out of a 15 minute interview, you know, we can debate that, but I think that that chance at a first impression, both, you know, you, 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 you prep for the interview, you're watching the player, and then you kind of put a, you know, the, the player on film to, to this actual person. Uh, and I always love that, uh, the, the relationship aspect of it. Football connects you in so many ways. There's like someone that I've coached with or I've coached in the past that probably knows this guy. And I just bringing that all together, um, that first impression I think is, is memorable. Do you have a favorite go-to question with these guys? Uh, I like to ask players about the toughest players they've played against. Okay. So I can get more information on other players. <laughs> you know, we've got a lot of information on this guy. I try to get, you know, because I really believe in street cred with players is who they respect. 
you know, I think that really helps you in the, in the draft process is finding out who they believe is a good player. And I think you're able to get some valuable insight because um, their guard's going to be down a little bit, you know? Yeah, yeah. They're, they're used to invading like their space and it's like, well, no, actually I want you to tell me about somebody else and you'll be surprised what they'll tell you. It's a good recon. Yeah, it's, I'm trying. Yeah. How much can you really glean from that 15 minutes in terms of like the football acumen? Uh, it's, it's a pretty brief snapshot, um, but I think you can get a first impression on the player and that's what it is. It's just an impression. Uh, it's a part of the evaluation. I think what you're able to do after this is maybe go on a Zoom and, and confirm a little bit more. It's a little bit more in depth. You got a little bit more time to do a deep dive. Um, but I think first impressions are important. And, um, you know, and I think they can make a difference, you know, when you're breaking ties at the end, you know. And then lastly, what's the biggest thing you want to accomplish this week? Is to keep our program going. I think, you know, we, we've gotten off to a great start as a coaching staff. You want to keep that momentum going. In the mornings, we're working on Charger stuff. Then in the, the, the afternoon and the evening, we're working on draft combine stuff. So just keep the momentum going. Um, make sure we stay in shape, um, that we don't, we don't fall in a trap uh, and eating, eating big and staying up late. So just make sure we wake up early, that we're getting a lot of work done that's going to help the Chargers win. Awesome. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. If you want to see more content like this, check out the link right here.